<laughs> All right, so I'm typing onto the live chat right now. How much should President Obama take flack for saluting with a latte in his hand? Wait, hold on. How much flack should Andrea and David get for calling the salute optics? Well, what I'm saying, again, you know, I'm remember, you, I'm just, remember that I, I, well, I was not the way no, military, here, my son is, he, he considers it more than optics. He considers the rituals of military procedure to be very important. And he has reason to believe that they're important because it does affect of course. a whole lot of things, including the chain of command, I which is it. in that, jeopardy that, right now. Right. Right. The commander in chief right, can send people to die. Floor. It is optics. Why? Because the White House made it optics. They were they don't view a salute the way that it should be viewed, right? They took this video and they said, wow, this looks really cool. We're going to push it out there. No. For optics How purposes. How could they not understand that? You said How the word. Stupid. You said the word that I think resonates Come with on. this particular White House. You but said the word happens. cool. Yeah. And I think that word resonates with this particular group. I then think don't it can salute kind of at all. If, you want to, if you're a cool guy rock star, then uh, you know, either put your latte in your left hand. I By agree. the way, I went to Girls State and Girls Nation. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and I was very proud to be supported by the American American Legion Auxiliary in high school. It's kind of a big deal. Oh, nice. congrats to you. Thank you very much. Awesome. It was uh, many years ago, but uh, I'm still, it's still a point <laughs> of pride for ago. me and my family. Five. Um, yeah, yes, exactly. I'm barely out of college in the garden. Uh, but one thing we learned is uh, when you are, when you hear the national anthem, put your hand on your heart. You do. And either put mm -hmm. your other hand behind your back, but don't have anything in either of your hands. And, you know, that's, it's that's basic true, actually. protocol. So there's this Marine official. I was going to say this on, on the TV version of us, but we ran out of time. A Marine official is telling TMZ the website, there's no salute etiquette when it comes to the commander in chief. However, how he conducts himself walking out of an aircraft is. Wait, uh, I think you're. It, an I'm issue. sorry to interrupt. You're missing the point. We're not talking about protocol for the president. We're talking about this means to the military. And he, as the commander in chief, needs to understand that meaning. And he doesn't need a protocol to tell him how to salute or when to salute. He needs to respect the military and respect what the salute means to them. All right. Uh, my reply says, and that's that person's sign on. I'm a veteran and an improper salute is an extreme disrespectful act. That's on the live chat. By the way, you guys want to chime he in. He was buttoning his coat with his left hand while he was saluting with the coffee. He was company. multitasking. Well, that's something the president says he does, though. All right. Now you I'm know done, what? I'm not, I'm not going to skin him alive and, and impugn him over this. I'm just... I, I think it was horribly disrespectful. I think he should definitely know better. Better Put down the latte. I agree with what Sandra said. We're at a time of war. It is a huge sign of disrespect. Mm -hmm. However, I, I just... I think that there's other things I would rather but, criticize. But there is for. a larger yeah. point, and there's I think Kennedy got to that, which is that in the past year or so, there has been this breakdown in the chain of command. We have a chain of command. Mm. The first thing in the Marine Code book, by the way, that my son showed mm -hmm. me is chain, respect the chain of command. It's the number one thing you have to learn as a Marine. A chain of command though. starts with the president, and there has been a breakdown of that. The, the Marine Commandant, by the way, who is outgoing now, in July, he made some very critical comments about this president without using his his name mm. and about the way so there there is there are concerns about the breakdown of, of the chain of command and in that environment you don't do anything to screw things up even more than they already are mm. and that's part but of the it, problem here again, I think it's I think it, it is I, you know you can call it optics or whatever you want but the fact is is that anything you do to unbalance that relationship right now is very very dangerous but we expect so much from him though when it comes to protocol I mean I just I think that's that, part of being president no, we don't. But I'm not disappointed because I don't really expect a, expect a lot from President Obama. When you look at the protocol, I mean, how many times over his six years in office have we, have we said, what are you doing? Selfies. Sending Winston Churchill's bus back, sending the Queen an iPod right. with your Taking speeches in it. He has embarrassed us oh, over yeah. and over and over with again. And I'm sorry, my Prime jaw Minister. is just not on the floor this morning. Yeah. The, it's the, not. The selfie at Nelson Mandela's funeral, though. I, I mean, I, but the I look on Michelle's face. My jaw was so on the ground priceless. for that. I just couldn't believe it. Yeah, yeah. so I'm not surprised. I love, I love the look on Michelle's face because it's like you wouldn't want your husband Jack assing around with a hot woman taking a selfie anywhere, but especially at a funeral. Did she have the mom face on? Yeah, I didn't, she was I didn't, like, oh, she had a game face on. It was yeah. more than a mom. Donna, yeah. Donna Pendergrass writes on my Twitter feed, I too grew up in the military, Harris, in a military family. No pass here, though. He is the president of the United States. Learn it. Who is in charge of protocol at the White House? You know, I, I'm going to have to side with Andrea a little bit now that she's fully made her point. 
<laughs> um, and that is that, you know, the military may not be all that upset right now because they aren't expecting that much from him as far as, you know, proper military protocol. Wow. What a, yeah, I, I think they are upset. It, I think they are upset. I, I, got a, I got a lot of military tweets this morning us. about this. A, a lot boss. of mil military folks chiming in and saying that's how a, awful that's a You know what, though? Thing. I think that, that those sad. are two mutually exclusive <clears throat> things. I think you can be upset about it, but at the same time, I don't think you can be shocked. That's true. Yeah, oh, it's not surprise. That's a tough one yeah. to swallow. I'm shocked, though. but I'm not surprised. That's a yeah. tough one to swallow. Yeah. So how about uh, how about well, what that? about this one? How about I, those Mets? <laughs> really Jay yeah. may be too. Jay may be too. Make the playoffs this year. Yeah, Jay, Jay may be too. Writes on our live chat. Before you criticize the president for his salute, you may want to look back upon President Bush's salutes with his dog. Yes, in he saluted space. with his dog, holding his dog and saluting with his other hand. Okay, I, I, I did not with recall that, hand? but. He, no, he was he was holding the dog with the left hand and, mm. and saluting with his right. That's not good either. No, it's not good. Yeah. No, it's That's not why good. I just I, you know I I don't want to be but one of the typical to... Republicans and it's like everything President Obama does is wrong. Everything's well, wrong. Well, I don't wrong, mind being wrong, a typical wrong, father wrong. of, of a military person who's no, upset because he's dissing chief, my my son's the office. Military, especially when you've got two Marines I, saluting yeah. when you're getting out of Marine One. Yeah. Yeah. But are you party? surprised? No, surprised I'm not. not surprised. Shocked I was. I was shocked to see that when I think of it in the context of the way he, his, it's really, you know, how do you expect an Ivy League liberal professor to know what's proper and what's not in the military? I mean, let's face well, it. Any, it wasn't just I him. can't think of any it was Ivy his League team, professor. As Andrea pointed out, I don't know if you said it on the show, but he's pointed out in the green room, is that it was the White House that actually posted the picture thinking it looked great. But look at who not? he hires. You go from the swim team to the State Department, Jen Psaki, right? Swim team, wow. State Department. They're, they are the JV. Ah, they are the JV. A bunch Max of kids Sage, running uh, the press office. Max Sage Math writes on the, the live chat, we expect so much of our troops. The least they deserve is the respect enough uh, not to be yeah. hashtag uh, you, I think we latte agree. saluted. Latte saluted. Latte saluted. That's a hashtag now. The uh, latte uh, salute. Uh, yeah, right on our but live chat. The, which uh, is cooking, by the, the way. Thanks, said, everybody, uh, for it, signing on. It wasn't on. a latte. It was hot tea. So there you go. It was oh, hot really? tea. The president drinks skim hot milk tea. or honey. Uh, we're probably a bit of skim milk and honey. Earl <laughs> Grey or morning oh. breakfast. Well, I think it's an English breakfast. Oh, Maybe English. I think it's an herbal tea. Oh. I think it's I think it's chamomile. You think it's arugula tea? <laughs> <laughs> So wow. You know, I, this you, is getting so much response. I'm just reading I know, these. I, I'm reading it, It's amazing. You're probably seeing it on your Twitter. Um, what do you expect? I'm seeing a lot of that. Like what Andrea said. No you, why, why are you Why are you holding your mouth open? Well, the I saw them all agreeing with me. Well, the actually. point I made on the TV version of us is that, I mean, when you grow up military, you know that most civilians don't know how to do it. So you just kind of don't hold it against them because you know that they're ignorant to the facts. The problem, though, that I kind of spin in my mind, and what I would ask the White House is, no one among you after six years right. would know how to Okay, slide. by the way, he's not a civilian anymore. He's the President of the United States. He's a Commander-in-Chief. Right. He can send these people True. in harm's way, and he has, and he will continue to do that. And every President has their own saluting style. And if Commander-in-Chief... Like some, some are snappy, some hold it up for a while, some are like... If Commander-in-Chief is, is one, if not the most important job you have as President, and particularly if you don't come from the military, you got to start, look at you, you gals study all the time the subjects that we have on. You would think he would well, study what is proper and what is not proper, <laughs> particularly if he's trying to make amends with a military that has que questions about his leadership. But this also goes back to the incompetence point, right, of this, of this administration. No one's mm -hmm. been fired. A lot of the more <laughs> senior people have left. And right. so who do you have in the second term? You have people who are not guiding him again who's at the wheel at the White House That's a good and it's question. not just about salutes and putting out you know little vine videos of him getting off a plane it's about the big stuff mm -hmm. they're, they're missing a lot of stuff they are screwing a lot of stuff up and nobody's getting fired well, and, and you wonder who's advising him about the identification of the top CIA agent yes I mean we oh. could go on and on and on the list in an of, email. of screw ups in an email. in an email that went out to 752 people the or veterans something. look at how he handled the veterans scandal where's the follow-up on that also right yeah. now he's going to need the military like he's never needed them before. No, he's always been them. pulling out. Now he's pushing in in military action. He's going to screw this one up. You like might want to brush up on a salute. <laughs> so uh, August Nauman says this was a JV salute. I'm telling you, I have not seen this response on the live chat since we've been doing overtime. Uh, yeah, no, there yeah. Certain Except for the that day that we talked about tattoos. That was big. Maybe, oh, maybe but, it was that tease about me being upset with Andrea's comment. Maybe. On Fox maybe thought we were going to like outnumbered. I like maybe it. Maybe they thought we were going <laughs> to wrestle over it or like get into a cat fight. Has that ever happened? Wait, yet? here's a good question. Jack Dunn. All right, so we're all today. asking the question of does he have someone on his team to give him the protocol? <laughs> nope. Jack Dunn says, doesn't he have anybody to carry his coffee? <laughs>
Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> That's a good question. Yeah. Good like, question. dude, hold this while I. Yeah. He yeah. needs Reggie back. His life is falling apart without Reggie. Yeah, Reggie? His wife was, was, the body was man. three steps oh. behind him. He could have turned around. Well, and you yeah, also she's hear, like, oh, you want me to hold you your coffee? You also hear, yeah. too, that the staff is, is scared to say things to him. He doesn't really listen to anybody. Mm. Kennedy, the mm. all um, right, I think we're going to call it at that. What do you think? Did you have fun today, David? I had a great time. People thank you very awesome, much. David. Thank, thank you, thank you. Yeah, no, oh, we, good. We, we loved having you, David. Great to have you here. I love to be here. Thanks, everybody. That's it for Outnumbered Overtime. We'll see you back here tomorrow and on television, noon Eastern time.